In 2035, fueling your car might look a little different than just going to the gas station. Change may be coming for car owners across Virginia. It could happen as soon as 2026. That's because Virginia legislators passed the clean car law in 2021, requiring 35% of all new vehicles sold in Virginia to be electric in 2026 and then 100% in 2035. So far, 17 other states have adopted this standard, but many Republican lawmakers want it reversed. They question cost, maintenance, infrastructure, as well as the state's power grid. Bill McGavern is the policy director for the Coalition for Clean Air. He says car manufacturers need to make electric cars more affordable for all customers. Ford, Volkswagen, the companies that um, do tend to cater to you know, every class of buyers, they've announced plans to do that. Kelly Blue Book reports the average price for a new electric car is over $61,000, while a compact car is just over $26,000. Honda promises to meet electric car standards, while General Motors plans to offer affordable electric cars. Kate Staples is a director for Dominion Energy in charge of the company's electric vehicle goals. She says electric car owners spend around the equivalent of $1 a gallon for charging. They also see around a 30% increase in their electricity bill. So while your electric bill might go up, you're certainly going to be saving in your pocketbook from not having to go to the gas station. According to the Department of Motor Vehicles, there are almost 56,000 electric vehicles registered in Virginia as of March. Dominion Energy says they plan to meet power grid demands for more electric cars. So it is our job to provide to provide clean, affordable, reliable power to our customers. Trip Pollard is the senior attorney for the Southern Environmental Law Center. He says federal funding will give 90 percent of Virginians more access to faster chargers. Under the new Infrastructure Act that Congress passed, Virginia is going to get a, another over $100 million for chargers under what's called the NETI. Program. There are currently 1,142 public charging stations across Virginia. Private businesses such as Tesla have also installed stations. Chargers can be found at some government buildings and even grocery stores. The Department of Energy says some electric cars drive up to 400 miles before recharging. Level 3 chargers fully power an electric car in about 30 minutes and are best used during longer trips. I, mean, I actually find that it can be a very pleasant way to take a trip. McGavern says California offers tax incentives to lower the upfront cost and gives off-peak charging incentives. So if you're charging between, say, midnight and 8 a.m., it's very little electricity being used, then that actually helps to spread out the costs of the grid. Jess Wu, and a Tesla Model 3 owner, says he saves a lot more money than he did driving a gas-powered car. I've spent $105 as of today, and I've driven this car 12,000 miles now. So $105 for 12,000 miles. On a full battery, his car gets about 365 miles before he needs to recharge. But for new electric car drivers, the idea of charging can be overwhelming. Constantly worrying about, oh gosh, when am I going to charge next? Do I need to charge up more than I think? What if I have an emergency when I can't charge? And I think for most owners, they'll tell you the same thing. That goes away after about a year. While Virginia legislators hope to reverse the clean car standard, Wooten believes Virginia needs this required time frame. I think not everyone will make that push on their own, and sometimes some correct legislations or incentives like a tax incentive. Uh, I think that's a great way to encourage people to buy electric vehicles. Wooten has one piece of advice for those on the fence. Go drive one. Drive, drive any electric vehicle that you're curious about and you'll be surprised. Car manufacturers will begin following this new standard starting next year in January of 2024. Reporting for Capital News Service in Richmond, I'm Adriana Lawrence.